We don't have enough experience, enough data to really have a good understanding of what are the later stages of CTE like. We're learning, we're, we're gaining more understanding, but we can extrapolate from other similar diseases and take what we do know from cases of CTE. These are progressive, destructive brain diseases. The brain is what controls everything. The brain controls not just how we speak and our ability to remember and our ability to solve problems and our ability to move. The brain controls everything, who we are, how we are, but it also controls our ability to um, just be. And if a brain disease progresses enough and it leads to problems with uh, swallowing, if it leads to problems with being able to walk, what happens often in, in many of these diseases is people die from infections, most common being pneumonia. And so if someone is unable to really speak and they can't communicate well, and they have a swallowing problem and they might have food or water go down the wrong pipe, that can lead to pneumonia. And if the person can't walk and be active and get that bad stuff out of their, their lungs and they don't have a good cough and they can't say to someone, I'm feeling badly, I'm feeling sick, then that pneumonia might get worse and worse, and the person can die from that infection. And so infections in general are usually the most common cause of death in later stage dementia. But sometimes the brain is so ravaged that it can't continue to support life anymore. And the individual just passes um, because there's nothing to keep it going.